Hey y'all, this is Colin from Digital Formation. We got a great question on our Twitter feed today about setting up your church as a Foursquare location. So I thought I'd walk you through that real quickly. Uh, it's not hard, but Foursquare doesn't make it very obvious. So it might be uh, helpful for some out there. First thing you're going to want to do is create a, a Foursquare profile. You can do that by going to foursquare.com. It will walk you through that if you don't have one already. You can either create a new one or just have it simply linked to your Facebook account, which is probably the easiest. Then once you're signed in, you're going to see a screen similar to that. It's going to ask you if you want to share your location or um, let your web browser use your location so it'll know where you are. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here to the search field and find your church. So you can search for your church in your area. If you're not home, you can change your current location to wherever you are. You can even say and search again. But chances are, if you're watching this video, you don't have a church signed up already. So you can actually scroll down to the very bottom of the page, ignore everything else, and say add new venue to Foursquare. I did a little fast, let me focus on that. Don't see the place you're looking for? Add new venue to Foursquare. You can click on that, and it's going to walk you through the rest of it. Enter in your address of your church. Cross street, if you have a cross street in your city, your state, postal code, very easy. And then here you can actually, you have the option to drop a pin into Google Maps, make it very clear. You can enter in your Twitter account right here. Your church's phone number. And then finally, I want to walk you through the category because it's not clear for a church, but again, it's simple enough. If you click category, you'll see a professional and other places option. You want to select that and you'll notice another drop down pops up. You can go ahead and click religious center here. And then finally, you have the option to select a church. This will give you a cross icon for your, uh, your church instead of uh, something else like, you know, Star David or Burger Joint or whatever it may be. This is to distinguish your location. Then you click Save, and that's really it. You, then you have a location. Now, one thing I want to show you before we go is how to claim a site. This is really important. If you go somewhere uh, that you create a new place, off the bat, you're not going to have the event, the site claimed. That means anyone could come in and claim it later. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you visit your page, and here you'll see, do you manage this venue? Click here. And now this will walk you through the claiming process. It's not very hard. You can just say, continue claiming with this venue, and then, yes, you're authorized to do it, because hopefully uh, you are by your church. If you're not authorized to do this, and you're not the rector of a church, I highly recommend asking the rector of the vestry before you go ahead and claim this uh, on their behalf just to make things simpler I think for everyone involved so you can say yes I'm authorized and now you have two options one they can call you or the other option is they can mail you a card this has a pin on it you enter the activation code then they actually will mail you a sticker that you can post in your church too then you're claimed your venue is all yours and you have a spot on Facebook or uh, Foursquare and people can start checking in right away. I think uh, Foursquare is a great tool for churches to get to use. It's a great tool for witness. Uh, on March 30th, if you go to digitalformation.eventbrite.com, you can sign up for our hour-long webinar on Foursquare, where we won't walk through the sign-up process, but we'll, we will talk about some of the basics, look at the web apps or the mobile apps, and uh, kind of explain why uh, it's a pretty good idea if your church is interested in diving a little deeper into social media, why you might want to start with Foursquare. All right, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any other questions, drop us a line on our Twitter at digiformation, that's D-I-G-I -I formation, or on Facebook at facebook.com slash digitalformation. Hope you all have a great day.